All right, welcome to TTT Boxing in association with IFL TV and KO Clothing. Here with me, I'm joined by Lucas Big Daddy Brown. Thanks for joining us, Lucas. Thank you, mate. How's things? Very well, thank you, mate. Very well. A little bit warm here in the uh, in the Sydney heat. Mate, very warm. Um, the thermostat in the car said 44 degrees, so to all those UK fans, <laughs> loving it. Yeah, I've been uh, I've been struggling today. <laughs> that's right, yeah. But um, yeah, first of all, let's start off with uh, the big news that's come obviously fairly recently that they've so finally been mandated. Um, yeah. So that fight with uh, Shagayev is, is closer than it ever that's has right. been. So what's, what's the story that helped us? As far as I'm aware, November 30th, they've got a, like uh, the time frame to actually come up with something. Yeah. Um, and then from there, we're hoping we'll get a date of some sort. Yeah, obviously, we're still looking at sort of six weeks for preparation and yeah. advertising and all that sort of stuff. So we're still looking at sort of January, maybe even February, depending on how far they want to push it. But um, yeah, it at least gives us some sort of direction as to where I'm heading here. And uh, if, if it's not agreed by November 30, we'll, we'll go to purse bids, I think. Purse bids, everything else. Yeah. Um, I, I believe they're going to want to not go to purse bids uh, due to the, the hepatitis issue with Shigeyev. So yeah. I'm, uh, as far as I'm aware, he can't fight in Australia, UK or USA. Right, OK. So it's going to have to be over there from his point of view. So yeah. they're going to throw extra dollars, which I'm more than happy to yeah, sort of oblige to. Mon money in your pocket and, yeah, and say, right. you've you got plenty of fans all, all over Europe and say, particularly exactly. back in the UK. I, I'm, so. yeah, I'm definitely uh, happy about yeah, the UK fans and all that sort of stuff. They're just quick, quick sort of jump across the pond and, and come watch as well. Yeah, a little bit further for me to go, but um, <laughs> yeah, we'll see what we can do. Um, so what, what are your thoughts now that, like I say, every time we've caught up, you know, it's been in the in the future, we're talking about it, is it going to come? Now it looks like it's within touch and distance. So it's not, you don't want to count your chickens, obviously, but yeah. it is within touch and distance. And yeah. how does that change your mentality in the gym and, and when you're training? Does it make you go that little bit harder? Mate, every, everything has changed. It's, it's one of those things where I've sort of just been plugging along and waiting and uh, even from the last performance although I did sort of I broke my thumb in the first round it wasn't the best of performance I didn't look the best all that sort of stuff so I think a, a lot of things have changed um, trainers everything else have changed I'm, yeah. I'm now with Rodney Williams um, who is an absolute master in regards to pads and, and all that sort of stuff so I'm learning a great deal and I think we're actually on the same page in regards to what I want and what he wants at the same time yeah. it's not no one's trying to change anyone's style or anything like that so uh, alongside, uh, you've also got Nigel Ben coming in as the uh, the ultimate cheerleader, so to speak. So, but the 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 volume and the presence and everything he has in the room is just infectious, and it, and it really sort of uh, gets everyone driving forward to what they need to be doing. Yeah, absolutely. I can imagine you know, working with someone like Nigel would be. Um, you know, yeah, he's been there, done it, can give you all the uh, you exactly, know the little yeah. inside inside tips. Um, and you know, as far as as far as that technique and things are going, you know, we saw you say under Defenic move towards maybe fighting in a little bit closer. And I know we spoke about you wanting to be further out and work on those, you know, those particular those overhand rights. Right, yeah. uh, are you moving back towards that? We're going to start seeing that come back now. Yeah, back, back to where sort of where I started fighting from, um, where it was just natural to me, for me to do whatever I wanted. And what I actually want to do in my mind is what Rodney wants me to do. So it's a good sort of mix in that yeah. regard. So yes, it's definitely obviously moving in and out more uh, and more angles and things like that, which I haven't sort of shown uh, before. So a lot of little things that are just getting tweaked and uh, the power is still there, everything's still there. So it's just a matter of the fitness, uh, getting Nigel on side with you. We're doing the long runs together and the, the cardio and everything else to, uh, together. So it's all really coming together well. All right, excellent. So obviously, you know, we, we wish you all the best and, and really looking forward to uh, interviewing you with a, uh, a world heavyweight world title. That's right. Uh, around your uh, around we'll your waist. Let's go back a bit further to make sure. That's it. Yeah, we'll get it all in. And just on that note, actually, we're just for now. I was just saying to you earlier. Looking in, in great shape these days. It's, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, it's slowly, um, yeah, like yeah. I say, compared to when we first met, you've certainly moved more towards yeah, that, um, you know, that great sort of shape. So that's fingers right. crossed we can use that if it if it has to go into the longer rounds or giving yourself and Shagayev's power. That's, that's happen, probably yeah. not not yeah. too likely. <laughs> exactly um, right. Heavyweights gen we don't generally sort of see the twelve rounds, but uh, if it does, yeah, I, I, I think a, a knockout would be more favourable for me. Yeah. Like I don't want to be going to someone else's country with all the all the bullshit and the yeah. politics and yeah. everything else and and look for a, a decision. I'm Going for the knockout, but yeah, it, it plays out however it's going to play. Out. Yeah, excellent. And, and otherwise, other in other places in the heavyweight division, we've obviously got Klitschko Fury coming up, and mm. the build-up for that has been stop starty It's been yeah, very yeah. interesting. That's right. Um, yeah, we, we had the Batman press conference. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's been right. you know plenty of um, plenty of back and forth, but that's finally finally close. And, and you know, you obviously studied both of them as potential opponents. So, what's your thought on on that fight and how I it think, can go? I think personally, I think uh, Fury's got the Klitschko a little bit. Just, just mentally, obviously. Yeah. Um, but at the end of the day, it's still, it's still going to be the the Cusco show, so to speak. Like it's his, his promotion, all that sort of stuff. Always will be. Um, I think Fury is going to give him a, a hell of a fight. But at this point, I, st I still think that Cusco um, will get him in the late rounds. Yeah. But again, you never know. Like it's, it's, it's. 
I think it's built up to be one of the good sort of heavyweight fights lately anyway, you know, the last yeah. last few years, so I'm really excited about it. And uh, if you had to uh, pick one to, to face next? Fury. Fury? Yeah. I, I, nothing wrong with uh, Klitschko, obviously, you know, you know, absolute champion for the sport and everything else, but just just to have a change of guard yeah. and uh, and just see what happens, basically. That's, that's the only reason why, yeah. Definitely, and I think it'd be easier to promote a fight between yourself and, and Tyson as well. He's already told me in the, the interview, um, I think it was the press conference when he was about to fight Yusinov once once uh, yeah. Chisora pulled out. He said if he does win it, he's fighting me 100. percent So yeah. he said that on record. So yeah. I've got to hold him to it. Yeah, but absolutely. If I do, if I do win the WBA title uh, from uh, from then I'm in line for it regardless, etc., etc. Et yeah, so absolutely. And then no, we've got really a, yeah, can't a fight for the uh, maybe for the fully for the undisputed belt, which, uh, which hasn't happened for a while, obviously exactly. with the Klitschko splitting the belt. So yeah. but we'll, um, we'll let you get back. I know you got some duties here tonight at the Punch World Club, watching some uh, some great fights, some local fights here, some New South Wales got title some fights, as well, so, some yeah. commentary gigs. I sit, you know, something to fall back on. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, um, Let's hope. <laughs> we'll uh, catch up with you later on, but thanks for your time, Lucas. Wish you all the best, and say fingers crossed we'll talk to you again before uh, before that fight gets made. Cheers, mate. Thank Cheers, you. mate. Bye.